Hello, my name is Jimmy Pro from Bentley Systems. I will show how a design file like we see here can be created by importing raw survey file as shown on the right. This file is a predefined RW5 data format. This is a common format that OpenRoads Designer knows how to process. I will also show you how to import data from a previously undefined format in an ASCII text file as you see here on the second tab. To begin, we're going to create a new 3D design file. So I'll minimize this, choose File, New. I want to ensure that I have a 3D seed file selected. So I'll browse and choose the 3D seed file provided with the work set. For the file name, I'm going to call this Survey RW5 so we know which one is which. Now we have a new empty design file. It's a good practice to define the geographic coordinate system for the data. The seed files defined in the workspace or the work set used to open the file may have the coordinate system predefined. To check, we want to switch to the drawing workflow. So I'll select Drawing from the Workflow Pick List. And then on the Utilities tab, I'll click on Coordinate System. You can see that a coordinate system was predefined in the seed file in this case. So I'll close this and switch to the Survey Workflow. And you can see this reformats the ribbon and gives me tools available here. We will use Explorer to import the survey data. If Explorer is not already open, select the Home tab on the survey workflow and click on the Explorer icon. I'll click on Survey to expand the survey panel. You can see that it's predefined with some blank categories. To import the survey data, I simply drag and drop the raw file from Windows Explorer into OpenRoads Designers Explorer. You notice when I drop it on survey data, it processes the survey data and creates a field book in the design file. And in the field book, if we expand that, you can see that it's created all of the point features and linear features defined in the survey data. If I double click the middle mouse, you can see that it fits the view and I can see that all the survey data has been placed into the file. Next, I'll show you how to use the text import wizard to import an ASCII text file. To do this, we'll create another new file. I'll choose File, New. Ensure that I've got my 3D seed file still selected. I'll name the file Survey ASCII. We have a new empty design file. I know the coordinate system is set from the seed. I simply need to import the survey data. I'll expand survey data, right click on field books, and select new. This creates a new field book that we can use to import the data. I'll right click on that field book, choose import, and then select file using text import wizard. Once prompted, I'll choose the surveypoints.txt file, and that populates the text import wizard. On the first pane, we simply need to define whether the text is uniform, not uniform, and in this case, it's a delimited format. And then I'll click Next. I'll choose comma as the delimiter, and that'll break it out into columns. I'll click Next. Finally, I need to define the data that's contained in each column. So I'll choose point name in the first column, northing for the second column, easting for the third column, elevation for the fourth column, and finally, code for the fifth column. With those defined, I'll click Finish. I'll be asked if I want to save a TIW file that can be used for importing this format in the future. In this case, I'm going to click No, and it'll process the survey data. If I expand the field books now, you can see that it's imported the points and the linear features defined in that, and if I fit the view, you can see the results of the survey data. This completes the video for importing survey data. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.